In this video, we will learn how to create work features such as work plane, work axis, and work forms on your 3D files. In this example, we will start by creating an offset work plane, a mid plane between two surfaces, and also an angled work plane. Lastly, will be a tangent work plane to a curved surface. So let's begin. If you notice, the offset work plane is 90mm from this surface and this angled work plane is at 45 degrees to this horizontal work plane. Now, let's open the part for workfeatures.itt into your Autodesk Inventor 2018. So you have a blank uh, 3D model without any planes. So, to begin, where can I access this work plane? Go to your 3D model tab under work feature panel and you can see three items here work planes, work axis, and work forms. Within each of them, you can expand it further to see many different types of work planes. You have offset from work planes, mid plane of porous, and so on. However, take note. The first default icon can actually trim everything within it. So let's begin. We will practice by clicking only on the first icon to create as many of these as possible. Now let's begin with work planes. First, we will echo the offset from plane by 90 mm. This surface offset it by 90 mm. So Things to take note, when you activate the work plane feature, left click and hold and drag this surface to the direction that you want it to be. Let me show you. Click on work plane. Go to the surface intended. Left click and hold and drag. A mini toolbar will appear and you just enter 90 mm and press tick and you have created your first offset plane. Second will be the mid plane between two planes. You will create a plane between here and surface number two. Let's try it again. Click on this work plane tool, first surface and second surface. Let's rotate the model and take a look. It seems that these two planes are actually intersecting each other. So what's the difference between both of them? Let me show you. I will enter into the sketch mode and change this 240mm to let's say 500. Now if you notice the L shape has elongated slightly. Now let's finish the sketch to update the 3D model. Upon updating you notice that the model, the plate the planes have also updated. This first work plane, the offset one, stays true. It's still 90 mm from this surface. But for this fella, it updates to be mid plane between the two, these two surfaces. So depending on your design intent, use the work plane wisely. Now let's revert back to the original dimensions. Go back to home view by pressing the F6 key. And now we will create angle to plane around H by 45 degrees. So the H that we are talking about is this H and this surface. This H and this surface. So click on work plane, click on the H and click on the surface. You will see that it creates 90 degrees, we will enter 45 degrees. A preview will be generated. You can rotate to look out for the preview. If you notice, it's slightly different. It's an opposite angle of what we intend it to be. So, include a negative sign and yeah, we like to press it. So we have created an angle work plane 
to this edge and this side. Next, we will use this new angle work plane to create a tangent work plane to this curved cylinder. Same thing, begin by clicking this first icon, click on the work plane and click on the tangent, click on the curved surface. A work plane will be generated tangent to this curve. So, same thing, because of parametric design, when you update this feature, extrusion number 2, let's change the dimensions to 200, finish sketch, the planes will update accordingly. Let's revert back to the original dimensions by undoing it. Next, we'll cover work axis. Same thing, click on the main icon, work axis, and click on curve surface. The axis number one has been generated. Now, lastly, we will create a work point. This work point will be generated between this work axis and this surface. So let's try. Click on this work point, click on the work axis and a surface. And by that intersection, a work point has been generated. 